Okay, good morning, good morning everyone. It's Monday morning, Monday morning in London. Uh, I thought I'd do another video today because uh, last video was about the... Good morning everyone, good morning, good morning. It's Monday morning in London. Uh, another video today, another video, a tech video. This is another tech video for you guys who are looking for Porsche content. This is about tech, uh, but it's an important one. Uh, my last video, I did the uh, video about the Bose wireless sound sport headphones that I bought and the issues I was having trying to watch YouTube and other video sites uh, with the video lag, with the audio lag and the sync lag, uh, making it unwatchable and the headphones unusable. Um, the headphones are great for running, they're great for music, they're not great for video. So, what have I done? I've bought a new pair of headphones. That's what this video is about today. You know, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want it to be like sound biased that I'm anti-Bose. I'm not anti-Bose, I have had many Bose headphones. Uh, I still use these ones. I still use those ones for my editing. Uh, you know, I've had other Bose uh, in-ear headphone, uh, Bose headphones as well. So, I'm not anti-Bose, it's just uh, the Sound Sport. Uh, it's just that the Sound Sport had the audio lag issue. Uh, and some people are saying to me the problem is YouTube. The problem is just not YouTube. Um, other people have also told me that their AirPods don't have the issue, so that's good, AirPods are apparently okay. Um, but yeah, so I bought a new pair of headphones and I bought the Beoplay or b &O, uh, E6 wireless headphones. Uh, the wireless headphones uh, obviously are not the same as the, um, they're not the same as the Bose uh, because they have the string attached between the two earbuds. So they're not exactly, you know, I bought them because I'm not going to have the sync issue. I wanted a wireless headphone. Like I said, the Bose are great for running, they're great for audio, for music, perfect. I will use them for running all the time. They're waterproof, they're sweatproof, uh, water resistant, sweatproof. Uh, the sound is good, the bottom end's really good. Uh, the B&O, the sound is also good on B&O. I don't have a problem with B&O. I currently use the uh, noise cancelling um, headphones from B&O on the plane. Uh, so I don't have a problem with the um, B&O. Uh, Natasha's got a couple of pairs of B&O, uh, the over-ear uh, wireless ones, noise cancelling. Um, so sound-wise, I think they're going to be comparable. The bottom line is, is that, you know, um, I won't have the audio lag problem. Uh, when it comes to noise cancelling, I have to give a bit of a shout out to Bose because I still think Bose is superior in this field with noise cancelling. Uh, my Bose Quiet Comforts, these ones which I use now for editing, are actually noise cancelling. I don't use the noise cancelling function when I'm editing, uh, but they do have noise cancelling. I used to use them on the plane, but on a long haul flight from Australia when you are uh, got headphones on for 13 hour leg, uh, they get quite heavy on your ears. Um, especially if you need to wear reading glasses or you have glasses on, they get very heavy and they're quite painful. So the any ones are always better. Any ones compromise is the noise cancelling is not as good. Uh, Bose noise cancelling, like I said, is much better than B&O noise cancelling. Even in the new noise cancelling earbuds that uh, B&O do, it's not as good. Uh, I don't know about the H9i. The H9i is the flagship or the top of their range. Um, Natasha may be getting a pair of those, so I might do a quick review if she does buy them. They may have improved the noise cancelling, I'm not 100% sure, but like I said, from the ones I have, the H3 or H5 ANC, uh, the first generation, uh, the noise cancelling is okay, it's not as good as Bose. Anyway, getting off track. So I've bought these uh, headphones, the, uh, the new ones, primarily for uh, using with uh, uh, phone calls. Uh, for phone calls, uh, I like the idea that they're attached, so I'm not going to lose the earbuds, so I would use them for phone calls uh, when I'm out and about, for music and for phone calls, and when I'm back in the, in the flat, when I'm back at home in the apartment, I will use them with uh, my iPad for uh, watching videos uh, and YouTube videos, etc., and I think that will be a great combination. As I said, the new iPad doesn't have a headphone jack. Uh, I bought the little adapter where you can put wired headphones in, but then you you can't charge it at the same time. Could be an issue, but the battery life on the iPad seems pretty good, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. But I like the idea of the wireless, it's just much better. 
yeah, so I bought these. I'll give you a quick look. It's not a full review. Uh, it's not going to be a full unboxing because I know they get very boring on YouTube, but I'll give you a quick look now. Okay, so this is, uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a proper unboxing. This is the box, uh, padded on the inside, uh, then you get the headphones. The headphones look pretty nice. They look very nice actually. So you've got the black and white cord, you've got the metal here, and this is all rubber. This just pulls out, and underneath you have the charger which is the same cord. <clears throat> the charger has this little device here that clips on to the headphone here, which means you can charge it on the go. Uh, so that's the charger. In the box, you also get <clears throat> the comply tips, which are more of the, uh, the... Comply's a great company. I'm sure you guys have heard, from, heard about it before. Uh, they make the earbud ear tips for lots of manufacturers, head, headphone manufacturers. Uh, they usually fit slightly better than the plain plastic ones because they're uh, memory foam. These are the plastic tips, so you get extra small, small and large. Uh, cable clip. And everything's marked really nicely. And the silicon ear fins, which you get small and large, so you get a set of that. Uh, ah, you do get a bag. This is very interesting because I was almost going to buy the leather I was almost going to buy the leather pouch for the, um, move this stuff out of the way. Not really set up very well today, am I? Um, so that's pretty much what you get. You get the comply tips, the cable clips, the silicon tips, the silicon ear fins, the charger, the headphones, and the bag. That's what's in the box. I didn't think you got a case. Um, I didn't actually think that you actually got a case, uh, because... <clears throat> On the co box contents, it doesn't say you get a pouch. b &O now sell these leather pouches. They sell uh, leather accessories, the leather cases, um, which you can purchase. But you know, they're 50, 37 pounds or something. 37 pounds for a leather case, leather pouch for the small headphones. The big ones, I think, are like 80 pounds. It adds to the cost. I mean, the headphones are not cheap. And I'll, be, I'll tell you why I bought these headphones. These headphones retail in the UK for 269 pounds or 270 pounds. <clears throat> Amazon at the moment and I'll put the link down below for you people in the UK because it is a really good deal and it's the cheapest out there and I've checked everywhere. Amazon sold by Amazon in UK and delivered by Amazon they're 199 pounds. Uh, another place if you're in the UK and you want uh, good headphones at good prices and b &O that's always regularly reduced is a site called Peter Tyson. This is not sponsored in any way these are two of the sites that I go to. Uh, so if Amazon don't have it at a good price it's Peter Tyson. I'll put the link down below. Um, but yeah, Amazon, £199. It's a pretty good price. Uh, they're just a new product. £70 off, I, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, so that's why I purchased them. But it's good that they come with a pouch. Yeah, so this is it. <clears throat> These are the headphones. If I can get them out, I probably should have used my other... I probably should have used my other tripod. But it's early morning and I'm not really focused. So that's the detail. These are the ear fins. These are the buds that you can change so it fits your ear uh, exactly. I've heard they're a really, really good fit. I've heard that they fit really well. That's that. And this is metal. This is all like a, it's a black rubber type finish. It's actually quite a nice finish. It's like a rubberized finish. And then you've got the cord. I won't get too close to the focus because you won't see it. And then the cord is, um, it's not finding focus. But the cord is uh, black and white. It's actually really nice. Uh, the length looks quite good. 
And like I said, this is the charger, which I'll take out of the bag in a second. Yeah, so like I was saying, the charger, the charging way the uh, E6's charger is actually really clever. It has the thing that goes onto the, uh, one of the control sides. Let me show you. So these are the headphones. You have, I'll just take the plastic off. So this is the charging part of the headphone. On the other side of the headphone, you have the uh, controls, which has been updated from the H3s, I think they were called. So you have the three buttons for the three functions, or multiple functions. And on the other side, so it's balanced, you have this. So you literally have uh, the two. This one here is used as a charging, uh, a charging port, which means you can have the uh, charging cable on your headphones when you're using them. And if you can plug into a, a portable uh, USB charger, or uh, if you're at home, I guess it just plugs into the power, into your USB uh, thing. So this is the plastic piece, which is actually a charging socket. And that literally just clips on. Yeah, okay, let me try that again. So that's the piece there. It has the little pins and it literally just clips into this and it sits flush, it's sitting flush. That's got the b and logo on there. So when you have your headphones in, you then have the cable which can go down into a portable charging pack if you're out and about, or it can be plugged into uh, you know, your charge or whatever. This is quite long, so it should be okay. I think it's a really clever idea. I don't know if other manufacturers do it or it's just a B&O thing, um, but I think it's actually quite clever. So that's the charging, that's the charging system. Uh, pretty simple and I've just made it very complicated, but that's the charging system um, Beano also have a app as well the Beano app uh, so you can adjust <coughs> You can set certain settings on the app. I haven't looked at the app yet. I haven't actually set up the headphones um, I Should know what the app does. I have no idea to be honest with you, uh, but it's just a classic Beano app which is uh, I think for sound uh, for uh, the type of sound that you want through the headphones. I think, I think. I haven't looked at it, I haven't looked at it. Um, but anyway, today was just a quick look. These are the headphones, like I said. <clears throat> Rubberized finished, metal here. Unique kind of charging element. Uh, black and white cord. Uh, they say they're for active, they say that you can use them for running and sports. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, but you can. Um, but yeah, so I replaced my bows. I replaced, well, I haven't actually replaced my bows. I've added to my headphone collection, but I've replaced my bows with my bows uh, SoundSport Wireless Earbuds or Wireless Free. I think they're called SoundSport Wireless Free. <clears throat> I've replaced the Bose SoundSport Wireless Free with the Bioplay E6. The Bioplay, Bioplay E6, because they're wireless, but they have a wire joining the two earbuds. I'm not gonna have the issue with the sync problem. The B&O's, <coughs> the Bose, I'm sorry, I had the problem with the sync problem, the audio lags on them. If you're wanting to watch videos with the Bose, uh, they don't work too well. I would, I would think before you purchase them. If you just want them for running and audio, audio books, it's all okay. Phone calls, are the, the B&O I've got because I bought the new iPad Pro, I needed a pair of headphones that were wireless that I didn't have an audio lag. Uh, this is my solution. It's probably, of course it's not the cheapest solution. You could have bought a cheaper pair from Amazon, a cheap pair of headphones. You could have bought the Apple cheap headphones and used the five pound socket adapter for the USB-C to headphone jack. Uh, I didn't do that, but <clears throat> I like these. I like, I like well-designed tech products. B&O is really well-designed. Oh, and the other thing is, this is magnetic, which I didn't show you. Now, yes, other people have done that before, but it also turns the headphones off. It's also a power off. So that's that. That is actually magnetic. Not terribly strong. Oh, it's quite strong. So that's it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, tech review today. Uh, next video. Uh, this one's probably going to go out first. I'm doing a few videos this week. Uh, this video will go out first. The next video will be a Porsche one. Uh, I know I said Porsche will be next, uh, but I just wanted to get this one out because I've had these in the box since uh, Thursday. <laughs> Uh, I've had to work over the weekend. It's now Monday. I wanted to get a review out and tell you guys how I resolved the issue and I resolved the issue by buying another product. That's my solution. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed already, 
I won't say where the button is, it's somewhere there. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.